What's up guys, bang bang. I was sitting here just thinking about it. It's pretty crazy. Ray Dalio, Steve Cohen, Stanley Druckenmiller, now George Soros, a bunch of the most well-respected folks, Howard Marks, all of them, they're all in the game. If you're a multi-billionaire on Wall Street and you got cash, you're buying Bitcoin. Why? We can't print trillions of dollars and expect the dollar to remain stable. There's going to be higher levels of inflation, of course, over 5% CPI, over 4% core inflation. That's why you're seeing all these multi-billionaire, very well-respected hedge fund managers and asset allocators buying Bitcoin. They're all in the game. And so whether it was Paul Tudor Jones and Stanley Druckenmiller last year, or it's the Steve Cohens and the Howard Marks, and now the George Soros is all jumping in. That's what they do. They move their assets around tactically, trying to figure out where they should be positioned for movements in asset prices. And of course, they're all concluding what many Bitcoiners have concluded years and years ago, which is Bitcoin is the apex predator in markets. And if you're going to have the quantitative easing and the monetary and fiscal stimulus that's occurring in the market, of course, a fixed supply, open, decentralized monetary network is going to end up being incredibly valuable. That is what we're watching play out. So don't allow all of the bankers, the hedge funds, and the legacy world folks to buy up all the Bitcoin because I'm not selling mine. I don't want to sell it to them. We'll see what's happening. 85% of all Bitcoin in circulation right now has not moved in the last 90 days. Pretty incredible to see. We'll keep watching, keep paying attention, make sure that when these guys all come in the market, we can see it right on chain. We can see the whales buying. There's now competition. Is the legacy world going to hold more Bitcoin or are the Bitcoin and crypto natives going to end up holding more Bitcoin? Time will tell. I like the chances of the Bitcoin and the crypto natives. They already got a big head start. These guys got a lot of cash coming from Wall Street, but it's unlikely that they'll be able to catch up to all those crypto and Bitcoin natives. So I'll see you out there. And by the way, don't forget, put up your fingers, fourth quarter, fourth quarter, fourth quarter. They had us in the first half, but we got the fourth quarter. Q4 of this year is going to be insane. Shocktober. When you hold up for when you're playing football, fourth quarter. Anything fourth quarter. can happen in the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter. Fourth. Yeah, they had us the first half. I'm not going to lie. Fourth quarter, baby. They had us the whole game, but it's all about the fourth quarter. Fourth, fourth quarter. quarter. Fourth quarter, hold baby. Hold it up. This is your time. Their time is done. The chairman of the Federal Reserve explicitly saying no intention to ban Bitcoin. Obviously, Bitcoin is going wild on the internet. El Salvador has started to mine Bitcoin using energy from Volcano. The apex predator of the financial markets is ready to roll. You play to win the game. Hello? You play to win the game. Going to the fourth quarter of the football game. But they are who we thought they were. And we let them off the hook. We can fight our way back into the light. We can climb out of hell. We will not go quietly into the night. And remember what got you here. Focus on the fundamentals. We've gone over time and time again. We can't be consumed by our petty differences anymore. We will be united in our common interest. We have won every single game we have played till now. So this team is perfect. Will, give us a little four figures in the air for the fourth quarter. (laughs) How are we going to finish it? How are we going to close it out? Fourth quarter. 